This is a serious message to everybody watching my update right now. Peace and love, peace and love. I want to tell you, please, after the 20th of October, do not send fan mail to any address <laughs> that you have. I'm warning you with peace and love, but I have too much to do. So no more fan mail. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, so Trio of Treasures. This is a segment for when I have a couple games that I want to show you, but I don't want to do just the one or just two. So we do three. This is a thing that I was sent like 30 times. It's called Infinite Pizza. It will start Trio of Treasures, and it looks incredible. Yep. How's your brain feel right about now, chat? This makes my brain feel really fucking weird. For some reason, you have to shoot the ingredient- Oh! Can this game solve world hunger? <laughs> yeah, I could. They just need to reverse engineer this pizza. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it kind of hurts my eyes, too, but that's why I, I just focus on what is ahead. Like, what lies ahead is more important than trying to figure out how to, like, adjust and focus. Because that is just, like, gnarly. And I don't use that word lightly, chat. It, but it's fucking truly gnarly. of death cheese distance 19 11 5 that's how you say that 19,000 115 tomato sauce 3 what happens if I go this way the fuck whoa run from the pizza. But you cannot escape the pizza forever. Yo, that sucked. I wonder if you can actually shoot yourself by accident. The thing is, the game is actually kind of cool. Like, the concept, it's just very arcadey and it gets faster, but it it's kind of fun. Oof. Cause of death, red vegetable. like some of the pizza that generated previously too and how deep this pizza canyon actually goes one more
mean, it is infinite pizza, so there's there's no ending anywhere in sight, chat. Oh! To be fair, though, that did look a little bit like an- No, it kept going. It kept going. All right, well, that, uh... <laughs> that hurt my brain a little bit. <laughs> Unconventional humans is next. Play it in VR. How about... No. An obstacle course for unconventional humans. I don't know what I'm... supposed to be doing here. Precisely, chat. It's like, build your own quap. <laughs> it is build your old, own quap. They're all gonna laugh at you! We will build a new human. Male physique, exactly. It's a little easy to go backwards and lose progress, but I guess that's kind of what the point of the game is. The trick is to make a wheel with limbs on all sides. You might be right. Yeah, I'm losing progress now. Let's let's build a wheel. this thing. <laughs> Rats! My first obstacle.
come on. No! Fuck. I hate this one most. Fly! <laughs> Fly! Trying to get it to fly further. No real way to control it. Whoa, oh, they're pogging, chat. They're pogging. Chat, they're booing. I just flew all the way back to the beginning. chat Here we go This one's not working, chat. I'm shocked. I'm very, very surprised that this one isn't working. Strong.
I'm just trying to pulse the body. It's not really, it's not really work. Even pulsing the body didn't really work. I thought it would. Yes, indeed. No. No. Ah, uh, it was I, there was a moment. There was a moment. Good, briefly. Make the bird again, it worked really well. Opposed to the bird. The bird is the word. Clapping. Yeah, it's clapping them. I agree. <laughs> it's not enough, though. Small bird. You need small bird, says chat member. What if we do even smaller bird like this? We try... Like the smallest possible bird. Collecting coins, but it works. Huh. 
kind of. Look at all of these, like, obstacles. Like, each obstacle is designed to screw you over unless you create the optimal flesh creature. This maybe. <laughs> it's lopsided, but maybe that's okay. I mean, symmetry in nature is overrated anyway. I did it. Oh man, this is good. This is really good. Here, let's do one more. Just have a hunch about this one, chat. You should try making a conventional human. I, I kind of almost did that a little bit, but it's... It, yeah, that's not working. No, the, the hunch was bad. It was a good run for this keyboard.
these goddamn legs are too long. And yes, the legs are not optimal, I know. I know the feet are in different directions. I've been I've been trying to work around that. I can't get over it. All right, all right, all right. That was unconventional human. Very addictive and terrible and nightmare fuel, but I like it. Mario War 64? I don't know what this is. I've been hold we've been holding on to this one for a while, and I totally forgot about it. So here's a thing for the trio of treasures that you may enjoy. Gustavo game. And Toad has a sword. What's this music? It's v um, Galaxy 2. Okay. Choose it. Oh, I did try to play this and I was just very confused. Like, I didn't get past a lot of this. Doesn't really do a good job explaining what the fuck this is. Hello, boss. I'm your commander. I will do my best to keep you informed of all the events. Whoa, that is an awful camera. Just, just Glover? Some MOBA? Is it tower defense? I have to spawn an explorer? Yep, I'll do that, Toad. Just... So I give Toad a hammer. Create soldier. Yeah, no, this isn't- this isn't really working. <laughs> Not for me, at least. I mean, it could be cool, but I don't know what the hell's happening. Oh, we've created a Toad Soldier. I don't know if that counts as an explorer, but... Did you skip a tutorial? I have no idea. Yeah, this requires more than Sunday Brain, especially if I'm only gonna check this out for 10 minutes. It's not as easily accessible as, say, I don't know, build a weird human Do the tutorial. What, on a Sunday stream? Oh no, my friend. Well. It seems to be a tower defense MOBA type thing where you build units and send out explorers. And give them shields and, and ex oh, I see, explorer hat, I see. So now we have a couple more of those going out. 
And that'll deploy the units automatically. They'll go collect coins. And then you have fighters. Reminds me of Warcraft 3. Like a custom Warcraft 3 map. And those towers go down quick. Warcraft 3, those towers would be up forever. I have no units. It, it's kind of cool, though. I, I can see this being fun for a little bit. I'll just let them kill me. I have no honor. I need to die. But yeah, that camera is a big oof. Would you play Warcraft 3 on stream again? I would. Don't know when, but I would. Alright. It's not, not a very Sunday game. There's a lot more I have to figure out and learn about that particular game. So, it seems kind of cool, though. It's just not good for right now. It's called Super Mario War 64. And it is, in fact, a game. I think I could probably give you a bonus treasure that we can take a look at for a second. It's called Peepo Park. And this game is by, um, Sock Pop. Specifically, <laughs> Bugart, who made a burn band. And I didn't really know where else to play this game for a couple of weeks now, so this seems like a good time to check it out for a couple minutes. The duck. What do you need? You need... I need to give this strange thing down here stuff. Let me, uh, use a controller for this. Never mind, controller support. Not happening. Oh, yeah, yeah no, there's controller support. Steam keeps, like, bringing up the message, Xbox 360 controller using configs, over and over and over again, and then sometimes it stops working for a second. Does anyone know what the fuck that is? Now it's just moving on its own. It's, um, on a cable. No, it's, it, it's not. You don't want that. Okay. Well, it's, it's on a cable. It's not, um... The batteries aren't dying, let's put it that way. So you need, uh, what do you need? Ball, what do you... I think I just yeeted a fucking duck. What is this game? Did you not want that? Here, I have your item. I- no idea, chat. No idea. Strange dog creature.
maybe I can kick the balls into the hole? Ball in tree. Wait, 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 wait. Something happened. Oh, okay, I, I bring a heart to the wizard. I need to give him another heart. Which I assume is related to this. Give the little ducks to the mama duck. That explains it. Oh! Okay, new balls have appeared. Is this what you need? Balls go there. Well, this would certainly be better with a controller. Get one more ball. achievement for that. Okay, that seems to be some kind of bonus objective. Weird game. Get the ball out of the tree. I tried to. It's just stuck up there. Kick something at it. Sure. Nope. Nothing. I'm just gonna play this a couple more minutes. Kind of curious about it. It's weird. Okay. And then there should be one more duck. Put cone on dog. Why? Doesn't work. Oh. Oh, you were just joking, because, like, dogs and cones. I get it. That's good. Haha, I get the picture. Well, we may... that might be it. Quality. Yeah. 
No, not yet, not yet. You can respawn. Try, um... Let me try a couple more things, just because I like this. I kinda like this. Just kick that ball at that dog. Sorry, dog. Kick the ball into blue goal. I don't know, man. This game has weird physics. That was a rock, not a ball. Yeah. Yep. Cone in triangle. I, um, I tried that before, I think. Kick the rock into the ball on the tree, not a cone. Again, this would be a lot better with a controller, but I don't know what the fuck Steam is doing. Not very accurate. Yay! Chat, you did it! Mental. Um, let's try this again. No, this is not happening. It shouldn't be that precise. Who's winning? I still don't know what to do with the dog. Two, two. Vinny, go to heaven. That was as high as I could go. Blah. Lost. Win. I won. I win. There's so many balloons, though. Give the dog the small ball. Maybe. I accidentally grabbed a rock instead. Oh, where did the ball go, chat? The ball's gone. <laughs>
It's just gone. It's in Peepo Park. Oh. Oh, that's a rock. All right, maybe we'll move on to the Christmas stuff now, if the ball's gone. Well, it's a cool little game, and again, it's made by the person who made Burn Band, which is one of my favorite ambient indie games. There's probably a lot more stuff that I need to do, or well, a couple more things, but I like it. Okay, so that was Quadrio of Treasures.